Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Yesterday Google released Android 13 beta 4.1. This is of course a minor update so don't expect that much of new features. The update size on the Pixel 6 Pro is 32.85 megabytes and here's the build number over here. I'm gonna show you some minor tweaks here and there and then I'm gonna share my experience after installing this build for one day. So let's find out what's new. Let's start with the lock screen and here I'm gonna show you a couple of minor tweaks. The first one is the Google Pay app has been replaced with the Google Wallet app. Maybe this change is related to the Wallet app itself, but I only got it after installing Android 13 beta 4.1. The second change is in the emergency dialer keypad. As you see now, it matches the phone app and it has the new design. So if we're gonna take a look here on the previous version of Android 13, we still have the old design, even though all apps on both phones are up to date. The third change is under settings and then digital well-being, then focus mode, it seems like the feature now selects the most distracting apps automatically without you doing anything because I didn't select these apps myself and all of a sudden when I entered the focus mode page I found them already selected. So that's all when it comes to the new features in Android 13 beta 4.1. There isn't that much so let's move on to the official change log to see what are the bug fixes. We have four of them over here. The first one is related to the Bluetooth Connect permission some apps on android 13 beta 4 was able to enable the bluetooth automatically and disable it without having the permission and the second fix is for an issue that caused sometime a device crash and reboot when you connect to certain wi-fi networks fixed an issue where meat connectivity could drop while driving and lastly fixed an issue where the system could incorrectly interpret the gps data now let's talk about the performance and the battery life of beta 4.1 but before doing this let me tell you that beta 4 was very stable at first and that's what I mentioned in my previous video but after a couple of days from publishing the video things started to get worse the phone was overheating and the battery was draining really really fast so keep in mind even if I mentioned to you that this build is stable as we speak but things might change in the future but if we're going to talk about beta 4.1 right now, it's very stable, it's very smooth, the performance is very solid, the fingerprint works great, so nothing wrong with this build. And if we're going to uh, talk about the battery temperature, as you see here, I have 27.3 degrees, and that's much less compared to Android 13 beta 4. I was getting under the same conditions about 32 degrees Celsius, but now it's much better. The second thing I noticed is under the battery usage, the network usage is now getting like around 5%, but in beta 4 it was about 10 to 12%, so this is another improvement I noticed. But keep in mind, things might change in the future, but right now, this build is great. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes in Android 13 beta 4.1. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next video.